you can make a protein bar that has really, really nice texture, but it's got like eight grams of protein in 400 calories. It's not a protein bar. Misfits plant powered chocolate protein bar. Vegan, 15 grams of protein, three grams of sugar. I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a taste test and overwhelmingly you said yes. And there were a lot of comments from people saying that you love these things. So I'm very intrigued. I've seen this on Instagram for months now and I've always put it off because I looked at the ingredients and there was stevia and I hate stevia, but look at them, like they look good. They look like a candy bar, you know, with the cookie part and the gooey part and the chocolate part on the outside. There's no way they're going to be better, but maybe they're as good as the Bear Bells plant-based bars. I seriously doubt it, but we'll see. 180 calories per serving. And oh, this actually says 16 grams. Oh, see reverse of individual bars. So I guess some are 16, some are 15. They're not soy free. They have both pea and soy protein. They have the little soy protein nuggets. They have xylitol, chicory root fiber, which the Nugo Slims have as well as a sweetener, beet fiber, peanut paste, yum, <laughs> such as peanut butter, glycerin, the Bear Bells use that as well. And now how do I, how do I shoot? Don't do this. Do as I say, not as I do. I got the variety box, which comes with, oh, here we go. Two of the chocolate Banoffee, so like banana chocolate. I'm probably gonna hate that one. Two of the chocolate caramel, white chocolate cookies and cream, dark chocolate brownie, chocolate cookie butter, and chocolate hazelnut. Ooh. Hopefully these aren't melted. It's a very hot day and I didn't get them until this evening. I didn't even think about the temperature and they didn't have an option for a cool pack. Ooh. Wow. The packaging is different for some of these, which I got an email, which I very much appreciate. I would be getting both old and new. They said because they don't want to just throw away old packaging, they're going to use it all up. They want to be environmentally friendly, which I appreciate. I think this one is the new one. They're both rather kind of childish looking to me, just the font choice. Like they're cute, I guess, but I don't know. What, whatever, I don't care. Uh, what do I try first? I'm going to go with just the standard dark chocolate brownie. This one is 190, 15 grams of protein. It looks a little dry. Smells okay. Smells chocolate-esque. I'm waiting for the aftertaste. <laughs> Very dry. It does not have the smooth, creamier texture of the Bear Bells. A lot less sweet than the Bear Bells. And I don't think the Bear Bells are overly sweet. I think they're like perfect level of sweetness. These are a little less sweet than I would like. The gooey part, you really don't get at all. If I didn't know it were in there, if I hadn't seen the marketing, I wouldn't know it was in there. I mean, I can kind of see it. There's just so little of it that it doesn't make a difference, at least for this one. It's not bad. I mean, if this were the best vegan protein bar option, I'd be okay with that. And honestly, I would buy this again. Now I might feel differently once I've eaten enough of these to like equal a whole bar, because that's the true test when you're dealing with sugar al alcohols, alternative sweeteners in general, it's the aftertaste. And sometimes you don't quite get that after just one bite, you need to eat like a whole bar to know like, oh, okay, there's more of it and it sticks with you. I'll know for sure once I eat some more of these. Oh, and it definitely doesn't taste like a candy bar. I've seen some comments, wow, I wish I had your taste buds, but no, it does not. <laughs> It doesn't taste anything like a goddamn candy bar. It tastes like a protein bar. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a, a back of the throat weirdness going on, stevia-ness going on that I'm not a huge fan of, but it's not terrible. I think I'm gonna try the hazelnut next. I do like the crunchiness of the little soy crispies in there. The cookie layer, it's very clearly protein powder, right? It's got that like dryness that some sort of protein powder mixture has. That's why I love the Bear Bells. They don't have that. That's why I love the Nugo Slim. They don't have that either. They're just nice and crisp. The Bear Bells are nice in like a creamier texture. This just has your standard protein bar texture, you know, if it's got like a decent amount of protein, right? You can make a protein bar that has really, really nice texture, but it's got like eight grams of protein in 400 calories. It's not a protein bar. And again, the gooiness is just like, I'm sorry, where? 
Oh, it smells like banana. Oh yeah, I'm trying the banoffee one. Yep, yep. Nope, white chocolate cookies and cream. I'm probably not gonna like that one either. <laughs> not as bad as the banana. I don't like white chocolate flavor. This has, it doesn't really taste like white chocolate, but kind of, you can see they're going for white chocolate. Oh yeah, the chocolate caramel. Oh, and the cookie butter. Ooh, let's try the cookie butter first. I should probably have some sort of palate cleanser, but whatever. I'm not a professional taster. I like that one better. The texture seems to be a little bit better. The, with that one, it's not quite as protein powder e dry, kind of. And I feel like maybe I got a little bit more of the gooeyness. I really need some water. All right, caramel. Weird. Don't like it. It's almost like a burnt caramel or something. Yeah, mm -mm, not good. But the cookie butter and the brownie and the hazelnut, not bad. If Bear Bells is a 10, New Go Slim, the mint chocolate would be an eight. And then I would give this going by the best flavor, which is the, the cookie butter or maybe the hazelnut, I think a six. Yeah, I think I'd give it a six. Um, and these were not cheap, I should say, not cheap at all well over two dollars each so yeah they, they would have to be pretty amazing when i can get the bear bells for 1.99 each when the nugo has a sale i think i can get them for like less than a dollar fifty each which is much more reasonable so yeah these would have to be absolutely amazing for me to regularly buy them will i buy them again hell no i got bear bells if i run out of bear bells <laughs> last time i checked they were out of stock on the website but it's more expensive there anyway again it's cheaper for me at trader joe's if i like ran out if Trader Joe's stopped selling them or something and I couldn't get there. But no, I'd still just get Nugo. I'd get the Nugo Slim. So no, I don't think I'll be buying these again. Oh, the aftertaste. It's not any worse than after that first bite. So that's good. That's another reason I like the Bear Bells. I don't get anything like that with them. It's definitely like, I mean, again, it's, it's a low sugar protein bar. It's not like you eat it and you go, wow, that's real sugar. I mean, it's clearly not real sugar, but it doesn't have that weird ness that sticks with you. So as per usual, I was right to be skeptical. <laughs> These are okay. They're not terrible. They're definitely better than the no cow ones. And oh God, some of the other protein. Oh man, those in particular, those were straight trash to me. I don't know how some of you guys eat those. They're so nasty and dry and horrible. Oh my God, the Huel ones. I think I talked about those in a video. Just atrocious. These are many, many times better than those. So they're not the worst, certainly not the worst, not even close. But I would love to know if you guys like these. For those of you who do like them, uh, let me know why you like them so much. <laughs> and for everyone else, if you would still try them, because remember, I have weird tastes sometimes. I am a super taster, apparently. So that might factor into the whole I don't know, super sensitivity, maybe when it comes to sugar alternatives, maybe most people don't notice that sort of thing. So definitely if you were thinking of trying these, don't like not try them because I don't like them, unless you think that we have similar tastes in things. I'm moving my hands a lot. It's like skincare. You wouldn't take skincare recommendations from someone who has super oily skin and you have super dry skin, right? Like if you like totally different foods from me, then you know, you're probably not watching this. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope Hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff from me. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much to all of my patrons for supporting the channel, even supporting the channel for the month and a half, two months when I wasn't posting anything, when I was very pregnant and unhappy, <laughs> very fatigued, and then having a baby and very happy, but very busy, obviously. Thank you so much. I do post two exclusive videos there a month for $5 plus patrons. And yeah, that's it for me. I, I feel like I'm forgetting to mention something. I'm sure I'll put it in when I edit this if I do, but yeah, thanks again. New video soon. What's in the box? I might even have been like a teenager, but I heard that, oh my God, it's like seven deadly sins and it's, you know, gruesome. And I thought they were gonna like, show it but of course in every case it's the aftermath and i was so disappointed <laughs> i was like what that's it that's it i do like the uh the drug addict one which one is that you can see the actor's real arm because they're like starved and you can see their real arm in the shot fun little goof